Hi there, this is Sir Matigo and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to factor non-perfect square trinomials whose leading coefficient is equal to 1. Let's have example 1. Factor w squared positive 11w positive 30. This type of trinomial has leading term w squared. So, the leading coefficient is just beside the leading term, which is equal to 1. And we don't need to write it. We can easily factor this trinomial by doing the following procedures. First, factor the first term, w squared. The factors are w and w. Second, we need to factor the last term, which is 30. Here are the factors of 30. 3 times 10, 5 times 6, and 1 times 30. From this series of factors, we need to select only factors whose sum is equal to 11. 11 must be seen in the middle term, and it is there. From the list of factors, we select only factors 5 and 6 because 5 times 6 is equal to 30 and 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 11 can be seen in the middle term 11w. Finally, the factors of our trinomial are w positive 5 and w positive 6. To sum up, to factor this type of trinomial, we need to look for the factors of the last term whose sum can be seen exactly in the middle term and factor also the first term. Then make your final two factors. We can check our answers if these two factors are correct by multiplying using the FOIL method. Let's have w times w is w squared w times 6 is 6w, 5 times w is equal to 5w, and 5 times 6 is equal to 30. The sum is w squared positive 11w positive 30. This is a true statement that is equal to the given. Let's have another example of trinomial whose last term consists of variable. For example, x squared positive 5xy positive 6y squared. Here the last term of this trinomial consists of variable y. But we can factor this using the same procedure as we had previously. Let's start factoring the last term. We have 2y and 3y. Add these two factors, it's 5y. And 5y can be seen in the middle term. Factor x squared, we have x times x. Finally, our factors are x positive 2y and x positive 3y. You can check this using the FOIL method. Anyway, we have done the FOIL method and you can do it by yourself. So, this way I'm done with my video lesson about factoring this type of trinomial. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you very much.